Hello, great people. Welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. There are two separatists, or call them freedom fighting groups, who are earnestly in need of the country of their own. One is in Cameroon and one is in Nigeria. Talking about Biafra in Nigeria and Cameroon, they have Ambazonia. It's one of the freedom fighting groups who are seeking self determination for themselves the same here in nigeria biafra we have different groups fighting you know and agitating let me not use the word fighting but agitating to get uh, self-determination for biafra ipop is topmost on the list and fairly recently both of them have been working together talking about ipop and anbazi dunia and fairly recently we've heard that even in training camps They've been together and they're trying to strengthen each other so that at least they can possibly uh, have mutual relationship with each other and can also step out to defend themselves. But shockingly, something has happened today as uh, they came into Nigeria, possibly to do what uh, unknown gunmen have been doing. And the story is not palatable for them because Nigerian security has stepped up and uh, they have done the needful i would say so but before we give you details of the news and further analysis we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos according to the news there is tension and panic around the nigerian cameroon borders as nigerian special forces reportedly arrested scores of ambazonian around the ecom border town mm. According to Biafra National League, that's BNL, the forces also arrested a top commander of Ambazonia, separatist fighter identified as General Black Mamba. The security agencies are said to be carrying out the arrest after Ambazonian attacked Nigerian securities and collected their guns. BNL, in a statement signed by its deputy national leader and head of operation, BBS Media, Ebuta Akon Takon, said it has directed its members at land borders of Cameroon, especially those of Ejagam extraction, to suspend any cross-border dealing with southern Cameroons until situation is calm. Recall that BNL, operating in the Bakasi Peninsula, had issued a quick notice to companies operating under Nigeria in the Bakasi Peninsula. The group alleged that Nigeria gets 60% of the oil in the region and uses the money to sponsor the Nigerian military against secessionists. BNL commander alias Aso Rock accused the federal government of killing armless pro Biafra supporters in Imo State and River State. The native of Bakasi stated that Nigeria no longer had right over the area since its territorial ownership was ceded to Cameroon. Now, this, this has triggered a lot of reaction. First comment on the list says, Why should the Ambazonia separatist fighters attack Nigerian security and call it their gun? This is not acceptable. And another person responded to that uh, um, statement. He said, you are wrong to say so. Nigerian soldiers are not smart to intervene in another man's country. See, Nigerian soldiers are dying every day. No army again. I don't know. This one said, dot in a circle. If clean, destroy the circle. If left to remain, will always make a sense in the circle. We know fear. Another person here says, go after them, Nigerian army, up Nigerian army. Hmm. This one said, down in the circle, where are you going to hide? You are in the circle, no way to run to. Oh, this one says, the Fulani shouldn't expect the North to be safe if war eventually begins in Nigeria. Even the Sultan of Sokoto Palace will be thought Britain and all World power supported you to kill over 5 million people in the South. And you think we have never or neither forgotten or forgiven you. Another person here says, I blame some relentless mouths that cast their vote for all these kind of people. This is what we are passing through. Another person here says, what temerity is this? What audacity? 
that strangers will see us finish and they come into our borders to carry out this kind of terrible act. Thanks to the Nigerian government and thanks to our military special force who stood their ground to put them under check so them to realize that Nigeria is not just any country but a country that is sovereign. Another person here says, I love what Nigerian government have done and our military. It is high time we prove to these people that we are not just ordinary, but we have what it takes to deal with any separatist group that shows his face. This one here says, you first issue a trade, you first attack and collected their gun, and now you are complaining. Can you learn from Kanu? Mm. This other person here says, for sure, Nigerian government has no light to pluck even peanut from the peninsula since they overtook them. Another one here says, God bless our forces. God bless Nigeria. God will deal with the enemies of Nigeria. Mm. So many people are talking here. This one here says, evils will not have peace again. They are wishing Nigeria evil. Now, evil report is what is the only report from their land. That is a wrong statement, I will say. Uh, I will say that is that's a wrong statement because when you're talking about evils, there are myriads and making such statement is wrong. Now one here says, after taking advantage of innocent ESN, now the real thing has been, real attack has been arrested. What happened to the people? You people have killed and the youth and the youth others in your custody. Now, what, what this guy is trying to say is that actually what we are seeing is a proof that um, Biafra was not uh, part of the team or we're not part of the team that we're going after collecting guns from, you know, Nigerian security. So now that you've identified the people who've been doing all this nonsense, what are you going to do about it? That's what the person is trying to say here. This one says, enough is enough. It is high time we sit down together with Cameroonians to warn them never to break into our country. Nigeria is a special country. No matter what is happening, let's fight our fight ourselves. Enough of bringing strangers into it. This one say here, see what our... I don't want to read this. This one says here, this is quite different from what I was expecting. Nigeria is dealing with its internal issues and strangers who do not even know how we came about are coming in to disturb us the military must deal with them so that next time they will respect our sovereignty right so many people have spoken what's your position on this let's interact in our comment section